Welcome everybody here at Cotterill Court in Hamilton, New York. We've got a great matchup for you today. The Binghamton Bearcats go up against the Colgate Raiders. Hi everyone, here with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wilson, I'm Vern Lundquist. The Colgate head coach has his guys prepared for the matchup today. Your thoughts, Bill? The Colgate coach doesn't go easy on his kids, Vern, because he believes that success requires hard work and discipline. It's a system that's worked for plenty of other coaches. The Binghamton head coach leads his team into the fray today. What's your take, Bill? The Binghamton coach has become the face of this program, Vern, and he has won over the entire university with his engaging personality. That campus loves him, and they're sold on what he's trying to do. Number 13 will probably play an important role today. Number 13 is an exceptional shooting guard. He's so strong from the line. Give him two free throws, he'll give you two points. Number 24 will likely be a large factor on the other side. Number 24 is a tremendous shooting guard as well. This guy is all heart. He gives 100% every moment he's on the floor. You've got to respect a player like that. Thanks, Bill. It looks like we're ready for the tip-off. Colgate gets the tip and we're underway. Far side. Number 32 passes it to the right side. Pass, far side. Pass, high post. from downtown. Number five gets the rebound. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Tracy Wilson, for an update. What do you have for us, Tracy? Brian, before the game, I had a word with the head coach. He told me he was looking forward to this game because of how evenly matched these teams are. He said it's always a good indication of what direction you're headed in when you face a team that is almost a mirror image of yourselves. We'll see what indication he gets today, Bill. Thank you, Tracy. Snatched inside by number four. Laid in by number four. Binghamton carries it up. They trail two to zero. This time, number 12 has picked up his first foul of the game. Colgate brings it up under nine minutes left in the half. For three. That's too easy, man. If the defense expects to stop him, they got to get out there on him. Dumps it off. Number two, collected inside. Passes it cross court. Number 32, swings it to the left side. Number two, tries to post him up. The three was off target by number one. The Bearcats bring it up the court. It's a five point game. Great finish by number 24. The little kiss with the layup. Colgate with the ball. Under eight minutes left in the half. Number 32 passes down low. He knew exactly what he wanted to do. And when he got the chance, he counts for the steal. Number 21 with the crossover. Kick out. Top of the key. Number 13, intercepted the pass. Number 13, dishes to the middle. Number 32, hacked on the way up, and he'll get two shots in the line. Second team foul. Number 
number 25, to make his Some first stand off the bench. On the court. The Bearcats carry it up, and it's a four-point game. Number five swings it to the right side. Number 25 backs him down. The three-pointer knocked down by number 24. Colgate takes it up court. Just over seven minutes left in the half. Pass, right side. Tries to back him in. With the runner. Bounces off the left rim and out. Oh my goodness. How does that shot not fall? Backs in. Number 25 tries to back down. Number 5 passes it to the right block. Picked off by number 12. They're in the lead thanks to the basket by number 12. Intercepted by number 5. Number 5 bounces it to the middle. Snatched by number 32. This is not a guy who usually takes it to the 10. I'm not sure why the aggressiveness all of a sudden. The shot from the wing was good by number 13. Binghamton carries it up. Right around six minutes left in the half. The Raiders will bring in some players from off the bench. Oh, thank you. They switched the D from zone to... Dumps it off. Number 12 backs him down. Launches one from beyond the arc. Number two grabs the rock. They got away with a blown assignment on defense. That was a pretty open look. Number 34 passes it to the right side. Tries to post him up. Releases from 16 feet. Offline. The Bearcats with the ball. They trail 8-7. Puts it in for two. Number 21. <laughs> Fires it way up court. It's stolen by number five, and that will be his second steal of the contest. Right side. Number 24 passes to the right block. The Raiders carry it up. Under five minutes left in the half. Count that last lane by number 13. The Bearcats will make some substitutions. The Bearcats bring it up the court. Just one point separating the team. Left side, takes the three, it's good! Here we go again, yet another lead change. This is what the fans came to see, what a game! Number 34 passes to the left side. Number 24 is tagged with the reach, and that's his first foul of the game. Colgate takes its first time out of the game. The Raiders are going to make some substitutions. 
on the inbound play. Number one, snatches it down inside. That's what a coach wants from his defenders. Stay with your best shooter and don't give him any easy looks. Pass, top of the key. Gently drops it in. Colgate brings it up, and it's a four-point game. Pass, right side. Far side. Nice little crossover. Glides in. Finishes in first. Nice job to convert from in close. He didn't mess around right there. Just straight up. Pass. Plus court. Number 44. Tries to back him in. Shoots the turnaround. Number 41. Grabs the rebound. Passes it far side. Number 41. Backs him down. Oh, net in the shot. By number 41. The Bearcats are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Binghamton takes it up court. It's all time. Dumps it off. Tries to back down. Puts it up. Can't cash in the 13-foot jumper. Number 13 brings it up. He's one for three from long range. Dumps it off. To take the lead. Gets it to four. First half. Number four swings it to the right side. The 15 footer gets nothing but net. Rotate, find the open man, and cash it in. Oh, Vern, they switch from his zone to. Wait a minute. Number 12 dumps it to the middle. Inside. Bangs off the side of the rim and out. The Bearcats. In the ball, there's seven for 15 in the field. To give them the lead. Off the back of the cylinder and out. Number 13 passes it to the top of the field. Backs in. Dumps it off. Off the front rim and out. That's the shot you look for, Bill, even though he's not their number one option. The defense will have to show him some respect because he will hit that, give him another chance. Dumps it up. Number 30 tries to post him up to give them the lead. Buries it. Number 30. Colgate calls time. Substitution on the court. Colgate brings it up. They trail by two. Dish inside. Number four, backs down. Number four, passes to the outside. Number 32, swings it to the left side. Tries to back him in. Number 30, grabs the rebound inside. Binghamton with the ball. They're shooting 53% from the floor. Skip pass, top of the key. Inside. Takes it in. 
lays it right in. With the strong finish, that's the way to take it to the 10. Colgate carries it up. They can play for one. Number one passes to the high post. Number five passes it to the left block. Got it off. Hits it. Number 32. And we're headed to halftime with the score 20 to 18. Now it's time to bring you our play of the head, Bill. This has been a real chess match so far. The adjustments the coaches make at the break could be the key for the outcome. The Bearcats hold the slimmest of margins. Number 24 has been just deadly, Vern. The hoop must look five feet wide to him right now because it doesn't seem like he's missing anything. Inside or out, he's been an offensive force. Absolutely on fire. There you have it, the player of the half. Number 21 inbounds the ball, and the second half is underway. Tracy Wilson has some extra info for us. At halftime, I caught up with the head coach who felt that this lead wasn't going to be enough if they didn't change things up for the second half. I asked him if he had anything in particular in mind, and he responded that they weren't playing at the pace he wanted. Look for his team to push the ball more out of the break. Thanks, Tracy. Number 32 passes to the right side. For the lead. Number 21 yanks it down. He got the look he wanted to there, Bill. I would let him have too many more of those. He can lightly up in a hurry. Number 5 passes it to the left wing. Goes up. Banks it in. Terrific job to get that one down with the kiss. Colgate brings it up. Just over nine minutes left in the second half. Long, high post from downtown. The Bearcats take it up court, and it's a one-point game. Him down. Picked off by number one. He obviously had no idea where it was going when he went up, Bill. And he ended up going to the defense. Here's a tip. You're no smarter when you're four inches off the ground. Number two tries to back down. To take the lead. Oh, Binghamton takes it up court. They're 10 for 18 for the game. Drilled by number 24. They just keep trading baskets for this is a battle. The Raiders bring the ball up. Just over eight minutes left in the second half. Number four backs in. Pulled in by number four. The layup was off target by number four. Court. Tries to post him up. Shoots the turnaround. Uses the glass and goes in. Hits it with the kiss. Fires it way up court. Number two swings it to the right side. The triple was off the mark by number 15. The Bearcats with the ball. It's a four-point ball game. Get the basket by number 44. The Raiders 
Bring it up. They're shooting 28% from three-point range. To stop the run. Number 34 corrals it, and that's his fourth rebound thus far. That's loose for three. It's good. Colgate calls timeout. Substitution on the court. Colgate carries it up. They're behind 32 to 23. Pass, top of the key. Nice speed by number 13. Binghamton with the ball. They're four for seven from beyond the arc. Number five passes to the right corner. Number 12 bounces it to the corner. Collected inside by number one. They got just enough pressure on him to make him alter his shot and force the miss. Binghamton carries it up. Just over six minutes left in the second half. Number five passes it to the wing. Number 13 picked it off back there, and that's his second steal of the contest. Releases. Can't connect on the quick shot. The Bearcats carry it up. They're ahead, 32 to 25. Played up and in by number 25. Dumps it off. Takes a three. Number four. Corrals the long rebound. Pass. Left side. Number four. Backs down. From long range. Hits the left rim and up. The Bearcats take it up there. They're shooting 59% for the game. Number 13. Read that pass and picked it off. Good job on the layup by number 13. The Bearcats call timeout. The Bearcats will make some substitutions. The Bearcats bring it up the court. They're in front by seven. Dumps it off. Tries to back down. Number five, feeds it inside. Launches one from beyond the arc. Connect! Colgate brings it up. They're 12 for 29 from the floor. Number 13 passes to the left block. From 18 feet away. Number one pulls it in. The Bearcats carry it up. They're on a 15 to 4 run. Number 24 dishes it down low. Dumps it off. Yes! This is starting to get out of hand. Time now a big concern. Yes, you said it, Vern. We're almost past the point of no return for a comeback. Number 13 lobs it inside. Sails in. Misses the layup. Binghamton takes it up court. Their offense has been firing on all cylinders. Pass, right corner. To the rim. Tries to drop it in, but it won't go. 
The Raiders with the ball. They're behind by 13. Pass. Baseline. Backs him down. From deep. No luck. Binghamton with the ball. 257 left in the game. Skip pass. Right side. Let's loose for three. It's good. The Raiders call time. Substitution on the court. The Bearcats are making substitutions. Colgate with the ball. They'll try to end this run. Pass, right side. Number four anticipated the pass and cut it off. Great finish by number four. They need to find some answers here. Oh, Vern, they switch from a zone to... Wait a minute! Number four tries to post him up. To end their drought. Number two snags it. Pass, cross court. Number two backs in from downtown. Oh, all alone. Too easy. Way too easy. Dumps it off. Number 32 feeds it down low. Count that last one in by number four. Binghamton carries it up. They're shooting 64% from the field. Dumps it off. Tries to pack him in. Fades away. Number four, corrals the miss. The Raiders bring it up. They're down 48 to 29. Dumps it off. Backs him down. Number four, he's camping the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. The Bearcats bring the ball. 118 left in the game. Number two, tries to back down. Number one, hauls it in. That's his third rebound of the contest. Number 13, dishes inside. Number four, backs in. Dumps it off. Number 32, passes it to the right side. Three, by number 15. For 40 seconds left in the game. Dumps it off. Number 32 jumped in front of the pass and came up with the steal. Number 32 passes to the corner. The shot down low. Swish. High percentage burn. Those are the kind of shots they're looking for. Binghamton brings it up, and they can just sit on it to end the game. Passes it far side. Tries to post him up. It's picked up by number two. Takes the shot. One target for 16 points. That's the game. Binghamton defeats the Raiders 48 to 36. It was an interesting contest. Let's quickly go to Greg Gumbel in the studio with the Pontiac game changing performance. Thank you, Vern. I'm Greg Gumbel. Welcome to the 2K Sports Studio. Now, let's bring you today's Pontiac game changing performance. A 
healthy display of long-distance marksmanship was the story in this blowout, the Bearcats used the three-pointer as a major weapon, and it was bombs like this one from way downtown that turned the tide in their favor and allowed them to run away with the victory. And there's your Pontiac game-changing performance for today. On behalf of Pontiac and all of us here at the 2K Studios, I'm Greg Gumbo. Now, let's go back to Vern Lundquist and Bill Rafter. Okay, thanks, Greg. This is Vern Lundquist for Tracy Wilson and Bill Rafter. Glad you were here with us for College Hoops 2K8.